Howdy folks, Richard Edmonds here from Windows Phone Central and as you can probably tell from what you're looking at in the video we have got the mysterious Samsung Ative S Windows Phone which was actually the first Windows Phone announced um, back at IFA 2012 in Berlin um, but has become the last one to arrive almost um, depending on whether the 620 by Nokia comes out first but here it is it actually exists and we have got one from Clove UK uh, so a big thanks to them for sending it out which we were slightly skeptical about we thought they were pulling our legs really uh, but no it arrived today and we have been using it for a few hours and uh, so let's get into it so that's the packaging the retail packaging that you'll receive uh, should you make the purchase and there she is the uh, Samsung Ative S, which is uh, vaguely like the uh, Galaxy S3, um, but it is an absolutely gorgeous phone. Um, there's no doubts about that. Uh, Samsung have whatever you may think about the manufacturer. I mean, we've been sort of snarky against them a few times in articles on the website, but I mean, they do make good phones, um, and this is no exception. So let's power this thing on. So, like I say, we've been using it for a few hours now. Um, um, and we've been very happy with it. Uh, the screen is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the AMO LED is just fantastic. But it's got to go against the 8X by HTC and of course the Lumia 920. So it's a, it's a tight battle out there. But um, in specs wise we do think that uh, Samsung have got the slight edge. Especially with the SD card slot. As well as the uh, 16 or 32 gigabyte internal storage. So... With the device itself, while it boots up, we've got uh, obviously Windows Phone 8, um, which is powered by a 4.8 inch uh, Super AMO LED display. And it is running a 1.5 dual core Snapdragon S3 chip. And has this model has 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Uh, there's also a 32 gigabytes version, um, but either one you purchase, you'll have the SD card slot expansion just to expand should you need to. Um, with music, videos, um, or whatever else me multimedia you have on your phone. So as well as that, you of course have NFC, uh, Bluetooth, and with a 2300 battery, which will certainly last the day. Um, like I said, we've been using it throughout the day. It's been quite moderate usage, and we're only at, I'd say, about 60% battery left. Um, and I don't think we charged it fully, so it was only about 88, 89%, I think, when we left. Um, and it has lasted. Uh, like I say, we've had uh, NFC on, we've had Messenger on, we've had emails, we've had games, apps, uh, you name it. We've been uh, certainly powering through the day with the uh, the Ativas, and it has sort of lasted its way through. So we'll have to do more tests with that um, before the review goes up. Um, but for now, it does look like it handles itself very well. So on the back of the device. We have a 8 megapixel camera which shoots a 1080p uh, video. We also have 1 gigabyte of RAM, uh, which is certainly going to get you through anything that you wish to do, uh, multitasking and whatnot. So if we take a quick look at the back, so as, as you can see, it's a nice metallic brush finish, and uh, it, it feels quite sturdy. Um, it may look slightly, I don't know. Um, looking at the side of it, it, it does look sort of OTT with the chrome and everything, but it is a nice design, um, especially on the back. Um, so if we take a quick look underneath, uh, the back easily comes off, a uh, little groove there that enables you to take it off, and as you can probably remember in the previous videos we've done, you know, the, the famous bendy uh, back plate. So, right, I'll leave that woman to go. Um, on the back we have the, of course, the 2300 battery, uh, we have the SIM card slot. Uh, do take note that the when we put our SIM card in, it did take a few attempts to get it out. Uh, we actually had to use the, uh, the Nokia SIM tray ejection tool um, to sort of push the SIM out. So just take note that it, it can take quite a while to get your SIM card out. Um, as well as that, we have the SD card slot. And, of course, this flash and the camera as well. So we'll just attach that back on there. So that's the device itself. So what else do we have in the box. So we have your usual uh, quick start guides and information about Windows Phone. It's getting attached or attacked by the battery casing. Uh, as well as that we have the USB cable 
to attach it to both the charger and a compatible PC or tablet. And we have the Samsung charger, uh, which we'll certainly use later on. We've been using the Nokia one at the moment for the time being. Um, and a surprising addition is, of course, the earphones, which you're not seeing with uh, Nokia handsets. Well, we didn't receive any, um, both in the Lumi 920 we had in the States on AT&T, as well as the one we've got from Clove as well here in the UK. So that's quite nice. Um, normally people have their own earphones, but it is always nice to have an extra pair. Of course, you have um, earbuds there as well. So that is the Samsung T-S. It does exist and it is coming to retail stores near you uh, at the end of the year and into 2013. Um, it's a fantastic device, just to quickly go over it again. Uh, the 4.8 display is fantastic uh, and the colours are sharp and everything else is pretty good about it and we're quite excited by what Samsung has brought to the table. It'll be interesting to see how they push it and market it. Um, but for now it's a big thumbs up from us and we'll be sure to take a more in-depth look at it at later dates. So stay tuned to our news page and we'll see you guys later. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.